Hello, my name is Victor Koss, the founder and owner of GTEx Sonet. I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up Android IRC for your Android based device. If you have a Samsung, LG, Motorola, or etc. phone or tablet, this will apply to you. If you have an iPhone, iPad, or iPod, this tutorial will not apply to you and you will need to look at an iOS based installation. There are several IRC clients you can use for GTX Selenet that are available for Android. In this tutorial, we'll be using Android IRC, one of the most popular ones, and this one is recommended by GTX Selenet. The first thing you'll need to do is you're going to need to open up the Play Store. The Play Store looks like this. This is usually where you go to install apps, download movies, and download music. If you cannot find it anywhere on your home screen, look in your app drawer. Once you have the Play Store opened, you're going to search up here in the search bar for Andro IRC. There's no spaces. A N D R O I R C. As you can see, it is the first one. It will be a blue chat bubble with three white dots in it. You can see that it is free and has a 4.5 star rating. So let's tap on that. As you can see, it has 500,000 downloads as of August 7th, 2015. You can also see a couple friends have plus one it. Here are the ratings, as you can see. There's also a premium version for $2.90. The premium version just removes the ads and supports the developer. Let's take a look at some of the features that Andro IRC offers. Andro IRC is a complete IRC client. It features DCC, which that is NA for text on it because we do not use DCC. Compact mode to reduce screen usage of UI. MIRC color codes. Auto join channels on startup. NixSurf authentication. Android notifications. Copy and paste. Logging. Sasso authentication, plain or blowfish. Multiple server connections with SSL support, easy access menu to kick, ban, and change privileges, fish support, tablet support, SSL certificate support, ignore support, so if you want to ignore an annoying user, NIC and channel completion, proxy support, shortcuts, and it can also handle IRC links. So if you click on a link on your web browser, sort of, sort of say, that has IRC in it, it's going to show Andro IRC as an option, okay? Which that's good. This just tells you what's new. We are installing version 5.2 as of today. It is rated everyone. Last updated May 10th, 2015. And you can see the file size is relatively small at 2.64 megabytes. So it's not going to take up much space on your smartphone or tablet. It also has in-app purchases. That's just for the to um, opt into the premium version, which removes ads and supports the developer. And as you can see, this um, is made by Madeline, okay? So let's go ahead and um, we're going to tap install on this. And as you can see, it has in-app purchases. That's just for the premium version. Location, uses the device location. It's going to access your photos and media files. That's probably if you want to share a photo, probably upload it to um, a popular photo sharing site such as IMGGer. We're going to hit accept on this, and as you can see, it's now downloading. It's now installing, and if you look up there, it's going to say installing Andro IRC, and now it says successfully installed Andro IRC. Okay, you can either tap open from here, or you can locate it on your home screen. As you can see, I don't see it on the first page, so you're going to swipe over, and we can see it put it right there. Okay, see Andro IRC, blue chat bubble with three white dots. If you cannot find Android IRC on your home screen, you can also use the app drawer. If you have a Samsung device, you can also use S-Finder and search for it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Android IRC. And as you see, it just pops up a quick start and there's an error. It could not load their website for right now. As you see, 5.2 is the latest as of August 7th, 2015. 
It's going to ask you to select a server, and GTEC Sonnet is not on this list yet. We will be reaching out to developers soon. So what you're going to do is up here in the right-hand corner, you are going to tap on the three dots, and you're going to go to Settings. Okay. The first step is to configure your nickname. Okay. Now hopefully you have read the previous um, sections of this tutorial and you have already chosen a nickname and registered it with GTEx on it. So we're going to tap on nickname again here and this is where you're going to type in your nick that you chose. Okay. As you can see by default it uses Andro user but we don't want to use that name on GTEx on it now do we? In this tutorial I'm going to use GTEx dash tablet but you are going to replace this with whatever nickname you have chosen and registered for GTEx Cellnet. Okay? Once you have put in your nickname that you've chosen, hit OK. Now there's also alternative. This is if you ping timeout or something and you cannot get back your nick. Um, initially, this is the, the nickname that it will use. This you usually just use your name, underscore, or something like that. Okay? So you can just put your name that you chose, your nick, and just do something maybe like an underscore. Something like that. Okay? Hit OK. Now, a dent. You can keep this if you want. This is just going to be your ident for um, IRC. This is what appears right before your um, host mask. Usually you don't want to mess with this as this is... This is more of a display type of thing. And then your real name. You do want to change your real name. Replace this with your name. And then hit OK. Okay? So as for a dent, I would not go into that unless you know what it does. Um, all it does is change the name that appears right before your um, host name. So it would be like, in my example, it would be, it would be GTEx Cellnet at, and then it will have my host name, my PTR record, which will usually show um, Embark HSD. But those are technical terms. So in this tutorial, since you're new, you're just going to change your nickname to whatever nick you've chosen for GTEx Cellnet and registered. Alternative, the, the nickname again with an underscore or a dash and then you're gonna leave that dent alone I only changed it because I know what it is and then you're gonna replace real name with your real name make sure to hit OK after you fill out each field now we're gonna tip the tap the back button the next thing we have to configure is the servers okay now in here it's gonna have um, a predefined list of servers and like I said GTEx Sonnet is not on this list yet we will be reaching out with the developer soon what we're going to do is you're going to tap on these and hold them down and you're going to delete them, okay? Just tap on them and delete them. Now if you use these networks, any of these networks, you can keep it. But I like to clean stuff up, so you just tap and hold on it and then let go after a couple seconds of holding on it and it'll pop up this. And then you hit delete, okay? So there we go, we just cleaned out the servers list. Now you're going to see three dots up here and you're going to see new server, you're going to tap on that. Now here's where we configure Andrew IRC to use GTEx Cellnet. The first field is name. This is just where you're going to put in the name of the network. In this case it is GTEx Cellnet. Like that. Hit OK. The next field is address. Tap on address and you're going to put in IRC dot gtaxl.net like that hit OK the next step is the port you are going to change this to 6697 and then hit OK next step is password you are going to leave that alone next step is nickname which you do not want to tamper with that because we have already configured your nickname global for Android IRC. Alternative and nickname you want to leave alone, as well as password, leave that alone too. 
Ident, leave that one alone too. You have Care Set. Tap on that and just make sure it's on UTF-8. So we can just hit cancel on that because it's on UTF-8. Secure Connection, you're going to tap that and make sure it's check marked. Okay? Use SSL certificate, keep that unchecked. Okay? Auto Connect. This is if when you open up Android IRC, do you want Android IRC to automatically connect to Jitexonet? Most of the time, you are going to want to do that. So you're going to check on Auto Connect and make sure that's checked. Okay? Auto Join Channels. Keep that checked too. Highlight List. This is where you can just put in a list of names that if somebody says said name, it will highlight you and it will no notify you. So you can put like your name, like I put Victor and hit OK. And if somebody says Victor in the channel, it's going to pop up a notification saying, hey, somebody said your name. In this tutorial, we're not going to mess with that. The next thing you want to do is you, authentication. This is on, this is this will automatically log you in to Gtexonet on connection. So you're going to tap enable and then next serve service. Okay, you want to use for authentication service, you want to make sure it's on next serve. You see currently using next serve. Next serve nickname is going to be Oh, you don't want to mess with that. You want to keep that at next serve. Okay. So don't mess with um, next serve nickname. Leave that one alone. And then authentication service. Make sure that's next serve. Make sure this is enabled. Then password. This is where you're going to type in your GTEx Cellnet password. Remember when you registered and chose your nick and registered, you set up a password for GTEx Cellnet. You're going to type it in here. Okay. In my example is pancakes. However, this password will be changed after the tutorial. Okay. You have an auto correction character, which I'm not going to mess with that. You have custom IRC commands, not going to mess with that. So there we go. We have just set up the new server tab. And as you can tell, if you go back, you can now see GTEx Cellnet in there in your server list. And you see UTF 8. It will use the nickname GTXL Tablet in my example. However, it will use your nickname in your example. You'll see GTXLNet and you'll see the address IRC at GTXLNet 6697 and SSL. Good to go. Let's tap back. The next tab you have is Channels. This is where you can um, you select a server. This is where you're going to add um, channels that you automatically want to join. However, I recommend you use the NixServe A join command. IRC, this is just some techie stuff. Um, here's where you can change if you want to show MOTD. You want to make sure that's on, by the way, because that will show you the technical stuff and the rules and everything. Auto join after kick, make sure that's checked. Now, quit message. Whenever you um, close out of Andro IRC, like hit exit. This is going to be the quit message. This is where you can change your quit message at, okay? Under the IRC tab and settings. So we want to backspace on that because you're basically just advertising for Android IRC. And just put something like buy or see you later and hit OK. Now let's hit back. We have settings. And this is just going to get into the more um, themes and stuff like that and logging. If you want to show a timestamp after each message, you can turn that on in, in here. Send crash report. That will send, if Android IRC crashes, it will send a crash report to the developer. You can change your font size. Say if the text is too small, you want it bigger. Space between lines. Um, auto joining delay is set at um, 5,000 milliseconds, which that would equate to about 5 seconds. Um, most of the time, you don't want to mess with, mess with much of stuff in here. Unless you know, unless you want to change something, like you know, if you want to have timestamps and you want to change your theme, show smiley button. If you don't want to see the smiley button, um, you can disable it in here. Auto capitalize text. Um, there's also auto correction. Usually, people turn that off and it looks like it's off by default. Um, here's where you're gonna also um, change what notifications you get. Um, 
If somebody highlights you, do you want a notification? Yes. Um, do you want your phone to always vibrate when you get a notification? If you don't want your phone or tablet to vibrate, you can uncheck vibrate and it will not vibrate when you get a notification. Um, lights, that's, that's if you want to flash the LED light um, on your phone if you get a notification. History, this is just where um, it will logging. This is just where it will log stuff for your um, device, which usually you don't want to do that. That will take up um, space on your phone eventually over time. Enable ping, you do want to keep that on. And then as you can see here at the bottom, you can change the theme of Android IRC. By default, you have a white theme, but you can also change it to a dark theme. And if you have an AMOLED display, um, you, you're going to benefit from having a dark screen. Okay, so set that to dark. So here we go. We're done with the settings tab. You also have a network tab. That's just if you want to set up the use of a proxy. Don't get into that. File transfer. Make sure always accept transfers is unchecked, which it looks like it is unchecked by default. And here we go. We are done in the settings. We went through each one of these tabs. Let's go back. And let's go ahead and... Okay, so let's open it back up. And as you can see, it's going to connect you to Excelnet. And then boom, we are connected. As you can see, I have chosen the black theme, so it is black. And now you can see up here, you can see you're on GTEC Sonnet, a ping of 6 milliseconds. That's really good. And then um, you can see here's your server tab. And there's GTEC Sonnet. See, there's the MOTD and all the technicalities. I'll tell you what server you're on. And then up here is how you change the, throughout the different channels, like Pound GTEC Cell, that's the channel. Pound GTEC Sonnet, that's another channel. Okay. Now, the reason I'm in these channels is because I have. Um, NSA join configured. Okay. By default, you're not going to be in any of these channels. You're just going to be in the server window. Okay. So to join a channel, what you're going to do is you're going to type forward slash like that, join space hashtag, and then the channel name such as GTA XL net. Okay, and then you're going to hit enter, and then as you can see, it puts you in this channel, and then this is where you're going to start typing your messages and stuff like that. Now you can swipe from the side. If you have a um, Samsung device, it kind of gets in the way, but see if you swipe from the side like this, you can see the users in the channel, okay? These are the current users in that channel, but of course, if you have a Samsung device, see how it likes to get in the way? You can turn that off. So. Yeah, like that. Just turn multi-window off. And now see? You can see the users in the channel. Then next serve, this just tells you that you have identified. You can just exit out of that. Now the exit out of a channel, you just hold down on it. See? And that exits you out. Okay? That causes you to um, quit said channel. Now if you're creating a new channel, you're going to have to look at the next tutorial on how to quit, create channels. Um, but that is how you set up Android IRC for GTX on it. As you can see, you're connected. And like I said, to join a channel, you just type in the name of the channel. You can also see right here are some recommendations of channels. So if you just scroll around, you can see like if you join Pound GTX on it, that's the main lobby channel, help channel. Pound GTX Cell is my channel. Vhost, that's where you can request the Vhost. Stuff like that, okay? So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, um, just give us a contact. Thanks for watching.